Georgia Horde. I'm gonna make this scope quick because it's windy out here, but it's gorgeous. So I came out for a run and thought I would scope because I was thinking of five top things that champions have in order to win in life. What's up? Welcome to my replay viewers. If you are watching this on replay, tap that screen for hearts. Shoot over the love. Send over some hearts to let me know that you care, that you're there, and that you enjoy my scopes. I do daily broadcasts on top tips on personal and business development. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Who are my re who are my live viewers out there? Give me a shout out. Is that Jerry? Hey Jerry, how are you? Where are you tuning in from? I'm out in the country. It's a gorgeous day. It's a little bit on the windy side. Ran! What's up, Ran? So yeah, for those of you that remember, I sprained my ankle about a month ago. So I have been babying my right ankle, but I've kept on working out because champions don't quit. Champions don't um, give excuses. There's certainly ways to modify when you have an injury and you still need to get your workout in. But it's been about, uh, about a month. Absolutely gorgeous weather out. So I thought, Sonia's dad, what is up, Allison? I thought today would be perfect to come out and enjoy a little run. A little run slash jog slash walk slash periscope for about three miles I've got. But granted, I'm out with my dog and he needs the exercise. So why not take him out, right? So five top tips on things that champions have in order to win. Whether it's winning at your job, in your relationship, in your health, your health goals, your career, business, whatever it is in life that you're battling, that you're struggling. We're at the home stretch, you guys. Home stretch, it's November. We're in the fourth quarter. And it wasn't that long ago that it was the beginning of the year and we all set New Year's resolutions. Well, most of us set New Year's resolutions and we're like, now it's the fourth quarter. And as you reflect back on the year, have you met those goals? Have you achieved greatness? Have you um, gotten to the next chapter in your life where you've learned something new, you've grown, you've become a better person? If you haven't struggled this year like I have, then there's something wrong with you. Because <laughs> if you're not struggling, you're probably not doing anything at all in life and just coasting coasting is that your attitude in life is when you coast I don't know about how many runners I have on this scope but I know that when I run a 5k um, marathon or half marathon or whatever even running three miles when I set a goal my last quarter of a mile is my home stretch when you see that finish line do you just coast through to the finish line no that's usually for champions at least is when that light switch in our head just flips on and we give it all we got that last bit of energy that adrenaline push that mindset that mediocrity is right behind me I'm not gonna slow down I'm not gonna give up I'm not gonna stop there are runners behind me that are gonna pass me up in life pass me up in this race so we put the pedal to the metal what is it Me pedal to the metal we have that lead foot when we have that attitude about finishing strong. And those five top things that champions constantly work on every day that others don't is number one, we have hope. We have hope, and I'm sorry if it's really windy because I just turned, so I'm facing the wind now. We have hope. Yes, Emily, what's up girl, winning at life. We have hope, number one. Hope for a better day. Hope for a brighter tomorrow. Hope for, you know, making a significant impact on somebody's life or making a significant change in our own life. Champions, number one, have hope. And most of the time you see us, you know, posting inspirational messages or motivational messages because we are messengers of hope for others that have not yet found hope in their lives. You need hope in order to win at life. You need hope to be a champion, but you need to feed that hope every day so you don't lose hope. We all struggle, we all get stuck in a rut. I'm gonna turn this way. Number two, you've gotta have a hunger. Okay, I know all of you have experienced hunger pains, hunger pains, when you are just dying. If I don't get that meal right now, I'm gonna little away from nothing. Here, Rody. There's too much traffic here. Sit. I'm gonna dwindle away to nothing. I need to eat now. Well, champions have that constant hunger every day. They don't wait until they're motivated. 
They don't wait until they're motivated. They're hungry for more. More in life, more in their performance, more in their results. They're always hungry. They always have that hunger pain to grow. Number three, what champions have. If you want to win in life, you've got to have this is passion. Passion. Once upon a time when we were little kids, our teachers asked us, what do you want to be when you grow up? What are you passionate about? And somewhere along the way, we let society program us into believing we need to conform to what the rest of society does. We need to conform to what the media tells us. We need to conform to what magazines and, you know, um, advertisements tell us and dictate about our lives. You need to wake up that passion in you again. And you've got to use that passion just like adding logs to a fire to burn that desire, that fire in your belly that's dwindled down. Feed it with more of what we're talking about. Number four, purpose. What is it all for? What is it all for? So many people live a robotic life going through a daily routine and they forget or they never discover what their true purpose is in life. What is it all for anyway? Why should I care? Why should I try? Why should I dream? Why should I do anything? I should just give up on my whole life. They've got no purpose. But see, you were all just, you were all born. Believe that you are a champion. Believe that you are meant to do more in your life. Believe that you are worth it and that you are valuable despite what others tell you, despite what the ledger says about your past. You've got to believe that you're meant for more. You, you've got to believe that you fit in a divine plan to achieve greatness in your life. What part that is that you play in that divine plan, I don't know. But you got to believe that it's there and you got to believe that if you're not constantly reaching with hope and hunger and passion and purpose each and every day, you will find it. You will experience true joy, true fulfilling life that you can't even fathom how it all began. But the two most important days in a person's life is the day that they were born and the day that they find out why. You guys have a fabulous day. Thank you for joining me on this run. I'm sorry for the wind. Follow me on Facebook.com forward slash Christia Hort. I'm also on Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, Twitter. Uh, you name it, I'm there. Love you too, man. Thank you so much for listening. You are awesome. Enjoy the rest of this gorgeous day. I hope it's beautiful where you're at because it is here. And I'm going to go finish my run. <laughs>